Hey, welcome back to another Species Spotlight here on Talking Reptiles. Today I have with me an Eastern Milk Snake, and it's really cool to have this available because this is one of the native snakes to the Hudson Valley where we are based. Now, Eastern Milk Snakes are not colorful like some of the Southern Milk Snakes. You'll notice they're a little bit more drab in color, but they still have beautiful blotched markings surrounded by black rings. When they're babies, that is a much brighter red, but as they get older, it tends to dull to brown. Now, Eastern milk snakes are gonna average somewhere around three feet, although they can grow up to four feet or more. And there are, they are constrictors. They're actually related to the king snake. And um, however, because of the brown color, there's a lot of confusion in this area, at least, with people thinking they're copperheads. So one of the things I always like to point out is look at markings, look at colors. This is a blotch snake. Copperheads have more banding on them. More importantly, copperheads do not have any markings on their head. Corn, uh, milk snakes are known for a pattern on their head, which often, in most, but not all, makes a little Y shape at the back of the head. These are some of the indicators of the Eastern milk snake. And as I mentioned, non-venomous constrictor, feeds heavily on mice and other rodents, will eat birds. If there's lizards around uh, an area where they live, they might eat lizards as well as occasionally in other snakes. So uh, these are very beneficial snakes to have around. And while I would never want you to kill even a venomous snake, there is absolutely no reason to fear the Eastern milk snake. In fact, this is a wild, wild caught individual and check it out. Absolutely learned very quickly that humans are not offering any threat let down its guard, and this snake has been handled the whole time without any interest in trying to bite me. But like all animals, when cornered, it will be startled, and one of the unique things that they will do is shake their tail. And uh, a lot of non-venomous snakes will do this, and sometimes I'll get calls in the summertime that, oh, I think I have a baby rattlesnake because they see a young, small milk snake shaking its tail back and forth. It's just a sign of nervousness. The snake is agitated and it wants you to leave it alone. But it doubles in the wild where they live in forested habitat. If it bangs against any dry leaves, it might actually make some noise to startle a predator or person into leaving it alone. So hopefully you get a better idea what the Eastern milk snake's all about. Not a dangerous snake and um, something very beneficial to our ecosystems. So once again, thanks for watching Talking Reptiles and our Species Spotlight.